Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has released the second beta of iOS 14.5. Now iOS 14.5 was released on its first beta a couple of weeks ago and it brought a ton of new features to iOS 14. Now we have the second beta which also brings a lot of new features. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this update and everything that is new with iOS 14.5 beta 2. Starting things off with the size of the update. Now this should come to your device at around 600 to 700 megabytes. That of course will be different on different devices and also it will be different based on which software you have currently on your device because if you have an older one it will come at a much bigger size. Moving on to the build number of iOS 14.5 beta 2. The, the build number for this beta is 18E5154. F. So this is the new build number for iOS 14.5 beta 2. And now let's move on to the new features and changes of iOS 14.5 beta 2. All right, starting things off with the new emojis. And yes, there are a lot of new emojis on iOS 14.5 beta 2. There are actually more than 200 new emojis. Now, of course, we have new ones and we have ones that have been redesigned. Now, here I have a few of them. We have a new one, which is a burning heart. It looks really cool. And we have also two smiley faces right there. They're new as well. We have one that is cutting, I believe, and one that is covered like in steam or snow or something like that. And then we have here the needle that has been redesigned and we have the headphones right here. Now, this is pretty cool. They used to be an emoji for headphones. They were just like regular headphones. But of course, you know, Apple had to redesign them. And now we have the AirPod Max right here as an emoji on iOS 14.5 beta 2. There are a lot of new changes on iOS 14.5 beta 2 on the music app and some very welcome ones. So if you go to your song, so here I have a few songs that I have downloaded on my device. You can see that now we have swipe gestures. So if I just wanna to add this for later, right there playing next, and we have here right there playing last. So if you wanna add a song to playing next or play last, all you gotta do is just swipe like that and now you have these swiping options with iOS 14.5, which is really cool. Now you will have another one right here. You can see there, there is an icon that indicates that these are downloaded on device locally. So what I can do here is swipe like this if I want to delete any of these songs. And you can see right here, if I go to the menu, now delete from library is red. Now this used to be all white here on the menu. Now that button of course is red indicating that you're deleting that song actually from your device. On iOS 14.5 beta one, Apple redesigned the software update section. Now this has been redesigned as well. I'm not a huge fan of this. It used to be way better with beta one. So on beta one, you will have that like check mark right there of course when your device was updated and it used to show the exact time when your device has last checked for an update and that was really cool now what you have here with beta 2 is just your current software and it shows ios is up to date and nothing else i'm more of a fan of the older one it used to be way way better now another thing that i'm noticing with beta 2 a lot of people have been reporting that the issue that was with the iphone 12 models the green tint issue on the iphone screen has been fixed that's a huge problem a lot of people have been facing that i didn't face that problem with my devices but a lot of people have been reporting for that and a lot of them have been reporting that that has been fixed with beta 2 so that's great news for everyone having that problem with their new iphone 12s and when you have airplay active on your device and you go to your lock screen you will notice right here the airplay icon there has like a nice little fade which looks really really awesome and of course it gives it a much better effect than it used to be before and of course gives your device a much nicer look while playing music through airplay there are a few new features that i didn't mention on beta one as well and of course you probably have heard that now apple allows it to change the default music player 
on iOS 14.5. You don't actually have an option from settings to do that, but you can do that by asking Siri. So let's just try it out. Play Eminem. And now it will ask me on which of these I want to play and I can go ahead and choose the app from here. And from now on, whenever I ask Siri to actually play music, it will do that on that app. There is a new change on the app store as well. So when you go to the app store and you go to the search section, you will have suggested apps and games right here. But now at the top of them, you will see an ad for an app or a game, which is really interesting. And from now on, Apple News videos actually on Apple News support spatial audio, which is really, really cool. And we have another feature on the music app. So if you're playing music and you have a song that has like a large title right there, it will actually now scroll the title. So that was a feature that of course was on iOS before it was removed and now is back. And now let's move on to performance and battery life of iOS 14.5. Now, of course, we're gonna compare performance on beta two and beta one, and we're gonna talk a bit about battery life in general on iOS 14.5 beta one. So here's the result of a CPU test from Geekbench for the multi-core score and the single core score of iOS 14. 0.5 beta 2 so let's go to the cpu here and we can see we have right here beta 1 so the single core score 1600 and 2 and we have 1603 here on beta 2 which is basically the same and we have here a slight increase you can see 4125 on the multi-core score we have 4100 and 95 actually on beta 2 here so a slight increase but yet very very welcome we see that apple is going on the right direction and hopefully improving performance and battery life as well with beta 2 and then of course the next betas and the final release of ios 14.5 now as long as battery life goes it has been good beta 1 has been really good for me i didn't like experience any like major battery drains or something like that it has been very stable and very consistent through the day very nice i'm loving the battery life and hopefully it will be the same or even better with beta 2 so what's next for iOS 14.5? Of course, beta 3. I expect Apple to release beta 3 actually as early as next week. I don't think Apple will continue the two week cycle. Probably they will move to a one week cycle and we will have a few more betas until the final release of iOS 14.5. Now, as for the final release, you can expect iOS 14.5 to be released sometime on late March or at least early April, first week of April, but I believe it will be on the last week of March. So that's pretty much it. Again, should you update or not to this beta, Probably not. If you don't have a spare device, don't update to a beta yet. Just wait for the final release because with betas, you will always encounter like maybe bugs or something like that. So it's always better to wait for the final release. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like on this one. And I will see you on the next one.